Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how to track mail to links. As always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you're new to Google Tag Manager then I would encourage you to check out our free email course under gtmtraining.com slash email course where you get a little bit of an introduction to Google Tag Manager. Now on your website, you might have a way for your users to contact you. For some, it's a form that they have to fill out, but for others, it's simply an email address. And most of the times, this email address is actually a link. And when you click on it, your email program opens up and you'll be able to write an email right away from this link click. Now let's go back and see how this link is actually marked up. We can hover over it and see on the left side bottom of the browser where this link will lead us to. And we see here a mail to info at demoshop.com. If we want to look into the HTML markup, we can right click and in our Chrome browser, we can inspect this element, which will open up our HTML elements console. And we see here it's a normal ahref with the link to mail to and the email address. And the browser can interpret this and then open up your email program for you. Now we can't actually know if the user sends you an email because that's all happening in your email program, which might be Gmail or Outlook or maybe an application on your phone. But what we can do is actually register if somebody clicks on this link and we can use Google Tag Manager to do this. So let's go ahead and implement this. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager. And the first thing we wanna do is open up a generic click trigger. Let's go over to triggers and click on new and implement a generic click trigger just to know how our click trigger will react to this link click. We'll choose the event, which will be a click. And since this is a link, we can choose in a second option to target just links. Then we get these two options to wait for tags before the email program opens. Should our browser pause and wait for our tags to fire, we keep this ticked and it should wait maximum for two seconds. And we also want to check validation. So we get a callback from the link that the link was actually clicked. So we keep this checked, go to continue. And now we can choose when should we listen for these link clicks. Since our email is on all pages and the footer, we'll just go with the all pages trigger, which is resembled by page URL matches the regex dot star, which will basically deploy our listener on all the pages. Let's click continue here. And then we have the filter option, the fire on option that it shouldn't listen to all the link clicks on our page, but only to certain link clicks. So we can filter down here. Since we don't know what to input here, we'll just go with all link clicks for now and then later we'll find our trigger. Let's create this trigger and go into the preview and debug mode. Now once we go back to the page and reload our page, We get our debug console down here. And now I want to click on this link since this link will take us to a new page where the debug console won't be open anymore. I will open up this link with the command key pressed in order to open it up in a new tab. And then I see here a new event in the data layer, which is the GTM link click. Once I click on this, I can inspect the data layer and see what information has been transferred once I click this link. And this can be used to refine our trigger. And here we see that the only really usable information is the element URL, which incorporates this mail to link click. And the element URL is resembled by the click URL variable that we have not yet available in our variables menu. So we have to go back to Google Tag Manager, go on the variables and activate 
these variables for us. We'll just do all the click variables for now and refresh our preview and debug mode, go through the exercise again. Let's reload our page, click on our info at demoshop.com with the command key pressed and go into the GTM link click event, then click on variables. And now we have them available here and we see all the variables that were filled and the click URL is really unique. And we can see that the mail to is included in the click URL. And to do a negative test here, let's click on this WordPress link. And it also opens up a GTM link click, but the variables are completely different and the click URL doesn't contain mail to. So this is what we can use to actually refine our trigger. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager and go back into our generic click trigger and rename that into a trigger that turns true only when we click on a mail to link. And now all we need to do is refine our trigger in the fire and options. We want to turn this trigger true when somebody clicks on a mail to link. So we'll go with some clicks and choose our variable, which was the click URL, and it should contain our mail to command. And this will be unique only to the links that open actually an email. Let's save this trigger. And the next step would be to actually fire our event to Google Analytics or to connect it to a tag. We'll go with Google Analytics here. Let's go over to tags, click on new, name this appropriately. Choose as the product as a tag template Google Analytics and choose as a tag type Universal Analytics. And we already have our tracking ID saved in a variable, in a constant variable, so we don't have to type it in again. And as a track type, we we'll choose here event, because that's what we want to fire into Google Analytics. As a category, we'll just import mail to links. And as the action was a click, and as a label, we actually want to fill this dynamically and know which page the user was on when he clicked it. So we we'll choose the page path variable. Since this is an interaction, we want this to affect our bounce rate. So we'll keep this at false. But if you don't want your link click to affect your bounce rate, you can turn this to true. Let's go and continue. And as a firing trigger, we'll choose our defined mail to trigger. Let's save this and create a tag. Now let's refresh our preview and debug mode, go back to our page and click on the info at demoshop.com link again with the command key pressed. And we see a new event happening. And upon this event, the tag fired the Google Analytics event mail to our intended tag, which is an event that fires over to Google Analytics. In order to do a little bit of a quality check, we can go over to Google Analytics into the real time reporting and under events, we should see a new event happened just now with the category mail to the event action click. And once we click on it, we see click and the event label, it happened on the homepage. So this is working fine. And we can publish this to all our users in a new version of the Google Tag Manager container in order for all our users going forward to be tracked when they click on a mail to link. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. And again, if you are new to Google Tag Manager, head over to gtmtraining.com slash email course to sign up for a five day introductory course to Google Tag Manager. I'm Julian, till next time.